Norse Farm's been in the berry propagation business for a little over 90 years. Started with strawberries and then in the 70s and 80s added raspberries and blackberries and today we propagate north of 40 million plants here on the farm with, with plans to go substantially more in the next few years. Hi, it's Craig Adams from California Lightworks. We are now in Massachusetts in South Deerfield visiting Norse Farms. They are a large producer of all sorts of berries in greenhouse and they widely distribute their range of berries throughout New England. They've recently installed our Mega Drive greenhouse lighting system. So they were nice enough to let us come in and check out the operation. Let's see what it looks like. So we're here at Norse Farms with Rosa Lee, who's the head grower. You want to just give us a little background on what, what you're growing, uh, kind of what's going on here? Uh, yes, uh, we grow small fruit plants. In the greenhouse, we're of course starting from the tissue culture material, which we receive from our on-site lab. So you have an on-site tissue yes, culture lab, do. nice. We do. And it's the best way to yeah. control for quality. And so then we take the material, propagate it in a greenhouse, plant it up. And we do this pretty much at this point year round. So obviously- Lights <laughs> are important in the winter. Extremely keep important. even- Well, keep things growing. At all, right, um, yeah. Because, you know, I mean, these, these are plants that are accustomed to certain photo periodicity. And you get snow, I imagine. Oh yes, you? absolutely. And does that dark, build up on the roof or is uh, that melt it melts off? It melts off with the heat. Yeah. And then you're primarily selling to other growers. You're up mostly acting as a nursery uh, and selling to other growers and then you grow your own fruit in summer? All is of that, the above. Yeah. We, we sell uh, everything from the liners and bare root material to the berries that we produce for local uh, supply, but uh -huh. we ship worldwide for the young plants. So what's the main crops you're growing then? Raspberries, uh, blackberries, black raspberries, and strawberries. So basically we've set up our mega drive in in several rows and in the summertime are you using the lights at all or that's all no we light? basically use them usually it's the last week in september and it's really been worth it there's nothing sadder than watching a crop that you are really excited to watch grow and get to where you need it to be watching it just stall out and do nothing for right. a couple of once, months in once the winter. that light level drops exactly yeah. whereas with this sort of system it's wonderful because I can adjust the light intensity, I can adjust the color channels, and I can cool it down nice. for right. when I don't want to push something along too much or boost it up. These are on, all on rolling benches, so you get quite a good yes. square footage. Yes. This is our standard 288 size plug tray, uh -huh. um, and so we, a lot of stuff gets started in that size, and then it's either planted up into a transplanted into a 72 or a 32, which is our larger plug size. This is more for and the retail. And these are strawberries? This is uh, Jewel Black Raspberry. Black our, Raspberry. Yes, one of our best sellers. Everybody loves this one. <laughs> so I could probably uh, go twice as much and still sell it all. Are, are these mostly going to consumers for their garden or for professional people growing these out? Mostly this size will go to retailers. And they'll and sell to exactly, individuals. Or, or we sell to the home gardener. Right, very nice. It's a, yeah, it's the size, uh, mo most agricultural equipment doesn't plant this size, and so we grow according to that. For the agriculture people will do a smaller plug, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, the 72 is a perfect size. Yeah. These are mother plants for our subs new substrate, pro well, I guess we've been doing it for a few years now, so not so new, but our substrate program, and it's basically, uh, we produce the daughter plants which are going to go out into the field in row trays, substrate grown, so it's in core, it's grown, not grown in the soil, so it can be shipped more easily. And how many years have you been here? Uh, let's see, it's almost six now. So these greenhouses have been here yes. for a little six, yeah. six years ago. Very nice. I'm very invested in these greenhouses. I, I can tell. So you didn't really need to change anything in the structure. You were able to hang the lights off of existing trusses. Yes, yes. And the fact that Mega Drive doesn't need any wiring or plugs over the canopy, pretty simple just to hang, plug them in, hang mm -hmm. them, just wire the Mega Drives in. That, that yeah, was, it, was a, it was a lot more. Nice. 
Well, this is a great setup. I'm very happy with it. So what are we doing in this room? Well, right now, they're moving the young strawberry plants out of here to house more suitable, because we're trying to keep the space warmer and more humid because we're using it as a propagation space. So uh, they're in the process of loading up the baby strawberries and getting them out of here because we'll be continuing, I should say, with our elderberries. Yeah, and here we have four rows of yes. Mega Drive lights. Very nice how the power supplies mm -hmm. are just at one end of the line, very clean. And the, all of these you're running independently on their own kind of schedules? I would be, yeah. Yeah. So one of the main advantages of this Mega Drive system for greenhouses is there are no power drops for any of the fixtures. All of the power comes to the central power supply, which can be remotely located either in the greenhouse, outside of the greenhouse, even as much as 300 feet away from the greenhouse. This uh, is important for a number of reasons, much less uh, expensive for an installation. You don't have an electrician working for days or even weeks wiring the whole greenhouse. It's easy to hang lights and install, unscaled uh, labor can do it. Plus very easy to relocate the lights, expand or contract the lights since there's no hard wiring. And here we see each power supply has its own breaker. It also has the communications ports and the cable outlets basically makes one circle of up to 27 lights. So you have yellow black cables going in a circle, 27 lights, then the cable returning and that runs that system. Each network system has 20, up to 27 lights. You can control those independently. That can be a separate zone or you could combine them all into one zone. So. You can see the fixtures are very low profile, slim, so you have the minimum possible shading effect from blocking the sun. Also, they are, stay very cool for a long life on the LEDs. They're all water resistant. They don't handle sprays, cleaning, whatever happens in the greenhouse. They're very durable. Really one of the most complete designs for a greenhouse lighting system. So I'm here with John Place, who's the CEO of North Swarms here. Thank you very much for giving us the whole tour. And now we're in the cooling room. So what's right. the objective here? So when we uh, would pack our plants, we ship our plants dormant. So the plants need to stay here in the freezer until we send them to our customers. And so you've got substantial cold storage to be able to do that. So there you can wait right to the right moment where they can finally plant. That's right, we can keep the plants in the best conditions usually better than the customers can. So of when the course. customers need the plants, we get them on a truck and get them out. And here. they all want to plant as soon as they can, right? right. All, all at once. Yeah. Absolutely. You want to say just a few words about the history of the company, how they started, kind of what you're doing? Sure. Yeah, Norse Farm's been in uh, the berry propagation business for a little over 90 years. Uh, we started with strawberries and then in the 70s and 80s added raspberries and blackberries. And today we propagate uh, north of 40 million plants here on the farm with, with plans to go substantially more in the next few years. Sure, and most of your production goes to farmers. I guess you also sell to retail, goes to retailers for yep. so the consumers. farmers, retailers, and direct to the home gardener. Yep. So you can buy a truckload of plants from us or you can buy one plant from us. Very nice. Happy to serve all markets. Yeah, the greenhouses are great. I love the, the equipment and your expertise. Mm -hmm. And here's the final shipping. What are they shipping here? We got, everything is in this room right now. Blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, strawberries asparagus crowns uh, and the ribes that we grow as well. Well, congratulations, great Thank operation. You. Thanks for coming.